Hello everyone and welcome to Eric Todd Hill, episode 15. I wasn't expecting to make this. We'd had enough of him by the end of episode 14. Both Lola and I agreed that we didn't want anything more to do with him. He kept going off on foul-mouthed rants and he was completely unguidable because he wasn't listening to a word I said. But after we'd ghosted him, he continued trying to contact both of us. So I've made this video to show why you should block someone if you've been talking to a scammer online. If you don't block them everywhere that they can contact you, they'll continue trying to contact you, trying to draw you back into their web of lies and deceit and continue trying to get money from you. After the last call on Skype, which was on the 3rd of February, our man texted Cassandra. How are you doing, beautiful Cassandra? he said. The following day, he texted her again. Good morning, dear. How was your night? Hope you slept well. Tried again the next day. Good morning, dear. It's obvious you don't want to respond to me. The love I have for you was real from my heart. Zzz. It's obvious you never realise it. The following day, he tried calling her. He tried calling her again the next day. Give me a call when you're back. Then he missed a day. He tried again on the 9th of February. Still very much love you, he said. Meanwhile, back on Facebook, on the 5th of February, he set up a new account and sent Cassandra a friend request. I accepted it because I didn't immediately realise it was the same person. I just thought lots of different people were using the same name. I thought maybe I'd have a bit of fun by telling this one that I'd just been talking to him. But no, I accepted the friend request and I get, Hello, honey, why are you not responding to my text on Skype? What's going on with you, my love? Of course, I blocked him, as you can see if you're looking at the screen. But that man hopped back on his original account on Facebook. If you're looking at the screen, Saturday on the screen... It's the 10th of February. Hello, honey. How are you doing today, my love? I've really missed you so much, honey. Where have you been for weeks now? I can't stay a minute without you talking to me. If there's anything that I've done that makes you to stop talking to me, honey, please do forgive me, my love. I still love you so much and I will always do. No matter, I still want you in my life and nothing on this earth can stop that you're more than anything to me, honey. Your beautiful smile gives me joy and happiness. My love, please come back to me. I can't leave without Without you, my love, lots of hearts. I'm very sorry for whatever thing that happened weeks back, my love, and I do promise to pay for whatever damage I've cost, my love. I want you in my life today, tomorrow, forever. My love, I hope you find a place in your heart to forgive me. Lots of hearts and kisses. Honey, please message me on Skype. Now let's talk things out, my love. I still do need you in my life. I know that you're still angry about what happened weeks back, my love. For you, it's nothing real. Nothing can come between us. Even the devil cannot come between us because you have a special place in my heart. Honey, talk to me. Why are you keeping me silent? Even if you don't want me any more, you could at least say goodbye to me. I pray you find someone who will give you happiness and joy more than I do. Have a nice day. Even if you don't want me or you don't want to have anything to do with me any more, your happiness means a lot to me and I will keep on praying that you find the one that can make you happy and smile forever. He went quiet for a few days. Hello, honey. Please talk to me. And then, over on Lola's Facebook account, she sent Annie these two recordings. Hello, Lola. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. What is it? You know, you really make me feel so bad for the past being. I have not been myself. I'm so worried and I'm so just thinking. I don't know. I try to contact Cassandra. The contact is not going too well. I don't know. But why did you have to do that to me? Because I want so. But I really love her so much. I know you have the power, the opportunity to do anything possible for me. But why are you... Why are you so in the in the haze of hating? Like you don't just like me, you hate me or what? Yeah. You hate me? Yeah. Do I look like a bad person? Yeah. But I'm I'm not I'm never a bad person. I have a good mindset and I have a good heart. And what do you want? 
I want her. Mm. And I really love, yeah, and I really do love her so much. It's not all about the money aspect, okay? You need my approval for that. And you don't have it. Yeah, I don't. That is the reason why I'm pleading. It's not all about the money aspect. It's not everything is not tossing tons about the money. I really love her. She doesn't love you. It's because you doesn't want to approve it. At least you can still talk to her that this person really loves you. No. That matters. I don't want to do that. Please. No. Can't I ever plead you? I'm pleading you right away because I don't want to feel like you you being angry about me and all that. I know sometimes I've been like in the hills or the way I talk, maybe I talk too harsh on you and all that, just because I'm really feeling angry at some time. But for the past one week, I couldn't even get to myself. So please, I will really plead on you, please. No. I am pleading you. Why are you so insisting? No. Because I want so. I know you want so, but please, I'm pleading you. I'm being serious, okay? Notice here the tactics that many scammers use. They'll apologize and tell you that you must forgive them. Or, in this case, he's pleading you, and so you have to give in to his pleadings. If you're talking to a scammer, please remember, anyone can apologize. You don't have to forgive them, and it doesn't mean that they're going to change their ways. Nor does a scammer, or anyone else, pleading with you to do something or forgive them mean that you have to do what they're pleading you to do or that you have to forgive them. And if the person that you're talking to online tells you that the fact that they've apologised means that you should forgive them, ask yourself, who are you talking to? And why are they so adamant that you need to forgive them? Lola tried to get our man to answer a video call. Pick the video call, let's talk on a video call. But this is not in my own constitution. I told you about security rights. Yeah. Can you just Pick the me? video call if you want me to talk to Cassandra. I want you to do that, but I can't do that. I see that this is the uh, United Nations. So they have their own discipline and security right there. Pick the video call, call and don't tell me bullshit. I'm not Cassandra to believe every bullshit from your mouth. Pick the video call if you want me to talk to Cassandra. I have told you, if you are picking the video call, you are not going to see me. Pick the I'm video sure. call, you idiot. You Don't tell me bullshit, idiot. Shut it. Pick the video call. You won't see me, would I pick, pick the video call, call you, you idiot, you Stop that. Why are you why are you so bully like this? I don't know why. Listen, you are a big idiot. You are not the general, you are the cleaning boy. That's why you don't pick my call. As I said at the beginning of this video, at the time, I decided against making episode 15 because I'd had enough of him. But this is a few months later and we've just come to the end of the series of Eric Todd Hill on YouTube. And of course, I've now got over my hatred for him and just find him funny. So I decided that I would make this final episode. The episode warning you why you should block a scammer if they've been talking to you, because some of them are very persistent. And so I signed back into Cassandra's Skype account to find that even after he'd spoken to Lola, he continued trying to message Cassandra on Skype. He went quiet for a couple of weeks. And then on the 26th of February, hello, honey, how are you doing today? I miss you so much, honey. Hello. In March, apparently he didn't contact her at all. 
and then at the beginning of April, he tried calling her. Hello, honey. Why are you not responding to me any more? You know I still do love you so much. Why did you allow your daughter-in-law to ruin our relationship? And he tried calling her again. On the 26th of April, he sent her a wave. Hello, Cassandra, and tried calling her three times. And then, finally, on the 2nd of May, he tried calling her again. As soon as I've made this video, I'll be signing out of Cassandra's account again, that he still can't contact her. So I hope this video stands as yet another lesson, because I know we've done this before, on why you should block scammers everywhere that they can contact you, and also how hard they will try to re-engage you in their scam. Please don't fall for it. Please don't let them draw you back into their scam. If necessary, change your phone number, change your email address, but please don't let them draw you back in, because many of them are very persistent. I hope you found this warning video useful. If you did, you know what to do. Please like it. Please share it. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in another video.